Welcome to my channel. I have been kind of obsessed with sunscreen for a while now, knowing that it is one of the preventative ventures that you can do to prevent aging, wrinkles, all that damage that happens to your skin that comes out later. But finding the right sunscreen for your face is super, super hard. A lot of trial and error. I created this channel so that I can share some of my best sunscreens with you and hopefully you can find some that you like as well as trying out a bunch of sunscreens that are out there. Some of my initial rules that I have for sunscreen, I have three guidelines that I stick to. One, it has to be specifically made for your face. I don't put lotion, body lotion on my face. I don't wash my face with body wash. It needs to be a specific sunscreen that is made for your face. Not something that I'm gonna spray on my body when I'm at the beach or the pool, out hiking, something has to be for my face. Number two, it has to be a specific SPF formulation. It cannot be SPF added to my moisturizer. I cannot trust the SPF that has been added into my makeup. It needs to be a sunscreen first and foremost. Third rule, my skin tends to the oily side. So anything that's gonna make me feel oilier or shinier or greasier is not gonna cut it. Most of those sunscreens, if it has the word glowing in it, if it has the word radiant, um, I don't even trust those. I certainly don't trust things that say they're gonna be matte because trial and error, you just have to see what works for your skin. I'm also gonna make sure that when I try all these sunscreens for you, I'm actually going to try them on my face so you can see how they go. We're gonna check back in, see how they're wearing. Um, I know some videos, people love to do this watches on your hands, not helpful. How something's gonna wear on my hand is not how something is gonna wear on my face. So our first sunscreen that's up, we're gonna start with one of my absolute favorites that was a game changer for me. I remember a time in my life before the sunscreen and a time in my life after the sunscreen. Um, Super Goop's Unseen Sunscreen is the complete, hands down, my holy grail. I hope they never reformulate this. I will keep buying this until they keep making it. It's always gonna be in my arsenal and rotate through. One of the things I love about the Unseen Sunscreen is that it truly goes on matte. So it reminds me a lot of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. When it comes out here, you can see we've got this great kind of gel-like consistency. And when we put it on, it just blends in and you can't even see. I love keeping these on hand throughout the day. I can easily reapply this over my makeup. I don't have to worry about checking in a mirror. I know that it's got me covered. The Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen is an SPF 40. And it is a chemical sunscreen, so it's one of those that you got to know to be proactive with it. Put it on before you're planning on going outside or hopping in the car to go run errands. But look at that nice finish. You can't even tell that I'm wearing it. I have nothing else on my face. I've gotten up, I've washed, put on my other skincare, all that was left for this. Awesome. So I'm going to set my timer. We're going to come back in 30 minutes and we're going to see how this still wears on the face. Okay, it has now been about 33 minutes since I've had it on. You can see that it's wearing nicely. Um, we're getting a little shiny in here. That's just my skin. Um, I haven't gone in since I put this on with any makeup, any powder or anything. Um, and a lot of this shininess goes away once I do put on my makeup. Um, but it's wearing nicely. It doesn't feel thick or heavy on my face and I'm super happy with it. Recommend it. Hope you check it out. Hope you love it too.